Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. As you tell tale back with a brand new video. If you couldn't tell by the title, today's video is a Morphe haul slash first impression. First impressions. I do have my Morphe box here. I know I said in my last video, I think it was makeup last makeup video, that I was waiting on this for for this to come, and it's finally here. Um, so yeah, I also apologise for this little um, alien. Um, I don't have anywhere to put him and he's now here. So we're just going to ignore that that's there and <laughs> move on. So obviously this is a first impressions and makeup video. So I'm just going to show you what I got first and then go in with the makeup soon once I've shown you everything. Um, I don't know how crazy with this makeup I'm going to go because... Yes! interrupted again um i don't know what i'm saying um so i'm not gonna go too crazy just because i have work with this makeup so but i'm dying to try this out so we're just gonna go straight in so i think i might just jump straight in and get on with it <laughs> So the first thing is this um, Madison Beer Luminous Setting Spray and I saw I uh, got the colour Seal the Deal because it was the lighter of the two and I don't, I'm not that dark so I thought that was the best option. So this is what it looks like and it has like shimmer in it so I'm really excited to see how this works on my skin and if it actually sets it and keeps it on but I also have to wear a mask at work so it obviously rubs off anyway so there's nothing I can really do about that um so I bought three lip products on Morphe so the first one I brought was by Morphe 2 um and it's their lip balm this not gonna focus but here we are and I got it in the colour Berry Blush um, and I love a lip balm especially I only use one I only use Carmex but um, I got this for when I don't want to wear a lot of lip products um, and it's, a, it's like a lip balm and it's got a little bit of colour to it I haven't tried this out but this will probably be the lip product I wear today because there's no point wearing a lipstick if it's under a mask for the whole time you know I then have a, it's called a Morphe Mega Matte um, Lipstick in the colour Bare All. This is like a nudie one because I don't have that many nude lipsticks. Like I have so many pink but not a lot of nudes. And I'm sorry but I love this packaging. I don't know what it is about it but I really like it. So this is the colour of it. It's quite nudie. Um, so that's that. I'm excited to use that as well at some point and then I brought a lip gloss don't need another lip gloss but can't help yourself when there's a sale when there was a sale on um so this is the Morphe lip gloss in the color froze frosé I don't really know um but this once again has the Morphe like cool packaging um and it's kind of like a pinky shimmery gloss um I don't know how much the colour goes on your lips but you know um, I then got this Morphe 2 Gleam Catcher Illuminator um in the colour First Light and I don't know what this is or where to put it on your face because like it says that you can um you can use it alone like so i'm guessing as a highlight but then it says you can mix it with your foundation or moisturizer for an extra boost so i don't really know i will probably use this as a highlighter probably um but very light to see how it goes on um but i probably have to do it before i powder i don't really know how this works um you know i then brought the morphe dimension effect contour stick um, in the colour Effect 12 and now buying this it's a lot lighter than my other contour stick so I don't know what effects that's gonna have but it is also it's like a cool tone 
to me like it's not very warm like my other one which maybe or like orangey is my other one which should match my tan hopefully is the aim for that so um i'll move on to brushes so i got two brush sets so this one is the complexion crew by morphe so it's a five piece um brush set and bag so i will get the brushes out okay so these are the five brushes that you get in this brush set so we have Okay, so I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go off what this says and go in the order. So this is a large buffer brush. Um, you then have a angled contour and blush brush. From angled, as you can tell. Um, you then have this, which is called a contour brush. Um, I don't really know. Um, and then you have this one which is called a diffused powder brush but it's really small and then this one is a highlight blending brush which is like flat and I don't know if it's supposed to be flat or that's just how it's been packaged and sent so those are the five one in the complexion crew set I then got another brush set and this is the Nikita collaboration with Morphe and their brush set um if I can open it I'll show you the brushes in here <laughs> okay so in this set we have seven technically eight because one's double ended um brushes and these are like eyes so you have um So you have the N3, which is a crease blending brush. Um, then have an N2 oval shading brush. Um, then N6, which is bullet crease brush. Um, and then have N5, which is a, it's called a tapered blending brush. Um, N4, which is a blending fluff brush. That's what it looks like. Then we have N1, which is a firm packet, firm packet brush. And then last but not least, N7, which is a double-ended liner and spoolie. <laughs> that's that and then i have two palettes so this one is the morphe 8c cool pro blush palette there's a bit of a mouthful so it has like eight shades in here let me show you um so this is what it looks like it's like the morphe just like slick palette and then inside if i can not open it what the there we go took long to open it than i thought you have eight colors in here so we have sexy it go free and hot this is the top line and then the bottom one is driven ego drama and queen um and some of these um especially these three here i don't know if you can tell have some shimmers in there um so i don't know how that works i've never used a blush with a shimmer in it but i saw this and i was really excited to give it a go and it's already greasy on the front on my moisture and the last thing that i bought from morphe was the nikita collection um eyeshadow palette so this has I would have thought 39 shades. I don't know how many shades are in here. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it doesn't really say. So that's brilliant. But I've been wanting to get this palette for a while. But just haven't got around to it. Um, being a uni student and all. 
money is not easy to spend a lot of the time even though i always spend money but here we are but then this was on sale on morphe recently when i ordered it so i was really excited about that and i mean these colors are just to die for i mean hello so i'm really excited to give this a go There's about, I want to say 35 shades in here, could be wrong, but yeah, so I'm obviously going to use this eyeshadow palette today, obviously, um, and go, go a little crazy, but not too crazy, because I also do have work. And now that's done, and we are just going to jump straight in with the makeup, obviously, so, um... To start with, I'm going to prime, and I didn't buy a new primer, so I'm just going to use the regular primers that I would use for work, so, or in my everyday makeup. Um, I've shown all the products um, that I will be using today um, that aren't from this order. Um, I have talked about them before, um, so I will not be leaving... I will not be telling you what they are just because it saves a lot of time and I've said them multiple times before so um you know there's no need to be mentioning them again so the first thing I've just primed I'm now gonna go and just soak my brows Um, so that is done. I'm gonna go and do my base first. So, you know, um, I'm gonna use my, because it's more film, I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna use my Morphe 2 um, skin tint and then my Morphe concealer. Um, just because I'm using this one because that's all the coverage I need at work. Um, because you can't, we still have to wear masks at the moment. I mean, not for much longer, but for the time being. <laughs> okay, so I look a bit crazy, but I just had an idea and I might try and mix a little bit of this illuminator in with my foundation um, and see what happens, you know? Not a lot, but a bit of it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so um, I've done my foundation and my concealer um, and I'm going to try out this contour stick um, and see how it is because I'm scared that it's not going to be very dark. Okay, no, I changed my mind. It is. I'm just used to mine being more orangey toned. So, yeah. Um, okay, maybe I don't put too much on. Hmm. It's quite grey toned. I'm not sure how I like this, you know. Okay. Well, I guess we blend it out and see what it ends up like, I guess. <laughs> So I'm not really sure that I did anything. Um, I think it just made me look grey. I don't really know. Um, so I'm going to try and fix that later. But 
And now I'm going to go back in with this highlight illuminator thing and put this red put highlighter before I set my face because this is a cream and I don't really want to put that on powder, you know? So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna go quickly set with my powder and I'll be back in a second but I'm not gonna film that because you know so I'll just be back in a sec <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do my brows but um I'm just gonna do them how I would usually do them because I didn't buy any brow product products I can't really speak today um so yeah I'm just gonna do it how I normally would okay so um, I'm just gonna use my own black bronzer because um, I didn't buy one um, and obviously I need to bronze so I'm just gonna use that but I am going to use this said contour brush um, and see how it goes. Okay, so I've done my bronzer and I'm going to use one of these blushes to do that. So I'm going to take the contour blush brush from that palette, well that collection, and I'm going to use this palette. So I think I'm going to try a bit of Driven because I like the shimmer in it. Um, and I don't know how pigmented it is, so I'm a bit worried about doing that because that's quite pigmented actually I didn't mean to put that much blush on. oh I also took a bit of um queen which is this one um and now I've got to try and buff this out because I didn't mean to put that much on it doesn't look that much in person so um like it looks all right in person but on camera it looks apparently really blushy so um before i move on to my eyes i am just gonna go in and highlight with a different palette because you know but i want to take a bit of this but i'm scared that i shouldn't be putting highlight on okay so I'm using this illuminator to highlight and I know you're not supposed to put like cream and liquids on top of powder but um it seems to be working well for the highlight so that works and the blush already had shimmer in it so that kind of also gave me a little highlight but I really like how this came out now is the time to focus on the eyes which I'm really really worried about in case it goes wrong but I have all my brushes here and the palette so I'm just gonna go straight in with them so I'm going to take the N5, I don't know, I just like this one, it's really fluffy and soft, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, okay, so actually I'm going to take the N2 and I'm going to dip into Razagan, oh I can't say that, but this one, and I'm going to put it in like the outer bit just underneath my crease. And hope that I'm switching to the N5 to kind of blend and pack it in. Okay, so I'm going to use Baby baby Boy, which is this light blue one up here, to kind of blend out the edges of that a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and this is the N3 from her collection. And I'm just gonna diffuse that edge because right now it's not looking too hot. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this purple one, which is called Mama Dragon. Um, and I'm gonna put that in like the outer corner of my lid. So like here over that blue it's brilliant <laughs> so now I'm trying to like blend these two colors together um and i just keep going back in with that purple to... okay so as you can tell i'm now just working that purple into this crease and making sure that you can still see the purple and I'm gonna go back in with the blues the two or not <laughs> the two blues that I used um just to bring them back out again because they did get kind of um overshadowed by the purple um I'm also realizing this is a bit maybe over the top for work which doesn't matter. No one cares what you look like. The managers don't. But I mean, we still have standards. <laughs> um, so I'm not gonna put any more product on my brush. But I'm gonna try and blend this blue bit down here. I'm now gonna go on my lid with this Sakura color, which is like this baby bubblegum pink. Um, to add a pop but I'm gonna put a bit of concealer on my lid I'm not gonna like cut the crease or anything Okay, so this look is done. My hair is up for work, so we're just gonna ignore that. Um, and I have to do this quickly because I do have to leave. But this is the finished look. I really love every single product that I really I uh, used today, and um, that surprised me. Other than, other than the contour stick, actually, because that was a bit weird. I don't really know what happened with that, but the rest of it I absolutely love, and I could not be happier that I bought it. Especially this eyeshadow palette amazing i absolutely love it i look all like that so thank you for watching please like and comment and subscribe down below um because i'd love to have you around on mon nope on wednesdays i do book videos and on sundays i do makeup videos so thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time bye